Most systems require you to suit up or get markered up uh, and then calibrate and work with specialists. And um, the organic motion system is kind of the opposite of that. Uh, you know, once you have the, the initial setup, which only takes a day, then, uh, you know, your system is always on from that point on. And uh, since there are no suits, there are no markers, there in, there's none of that getting in the way, uh, we're able to actually jump in and do some animation right now. Whenever that moment strikes, whenever that inspiration happens, I've got my system on and I can jump in and execute. What I like most about the uh, organic motion system is its ease of use. The animator has no need or nor interest to find out what's going on behind the scenes and this is very easy the actor gets up on stage and off they go there's very little setup very little uh, room for the technology to get in the way of the creative process in comparison to many of the other systems out there with the exception of a very high and expensive optical system it outperforms all the rest of them it's stable it doesn't introduce any error into the data. It's very easy to get up and going. Um, you don't have to worry about the wired LEDs or anything like that. And the ease of use in terms of, from an animator standpoint, very easy to jump right in. Traditionally, working uh, in an interdisciplinary area at a university, you've got uh, silos, they call them, where uh, you have specializations and people know what they know but they tend to hang with each other and uh, one of the other problems for interdisciplinary work has been the actual interface of the computing devices that we're using so one of the reasons that we're using the organic motion stage is that it's much more of a naturalistic interface we don't have to spend time uh, trying to instruct people we're working with how to use the system we just get them there set them up and they do what they do naturally and that's for us especially in the area of virtual environments and interactive media research has been a tremendous time uh, saver for our research. We've been able to use a variety of open source tools to build additional tools on top of the OM platform. So we work closely with organic motion developers to create new uh, plugins, if you will, that can leverage their basic technology into the ways that we want to go for our research. Our students really love working with the organic motion system because it's so intuitive. And again, uh, a lot of times students, when they have an idea, just like some of us professors, they just want to get in there and do it and, and have a couple takes and really spend our time being creative as opposed to setting stuff up and fighting with the interface. So organic motion, both for our staff, our faculty, and our students has been very intuitive and efficient and effective to work with. And we're gonna to continue to develop new tools and applications with this system. The system from organic motion is actually very attractive and people are curious about it. They want to know how they can use it and they imagine ways to create projects using it. The very successful part of the system is that you can teach a class and get students to forget about the fact that they use a motion capture system. They uh, focus on the stories, they focus on the productions, they don't focus on the technology. The result is that they will turn on the system when they need it, but they don't need to do that during a specific session, they don't need to have a technician there. They can just walk in the room and use it for their own needs and then move on to the animations. They might find applications of it that will give them an edge when they leave the program. Now if they can use that edge right away or it's going to take some time, this I don't know, but they might be able to sell themselves better because of having the edge of knowing how to use a motion capture system.